What's up guys, uh, Zarek here with Underdogs of Addiction. Um, just want to say thank you for tuning in. Um, and before this video, I just want to mention to everyone that um, I am now a certified um, recovery counselor and I will be accepting uh, coaching clients. Um, I didn't really know this was going to start happening, but I've been getting a lot of people hitting me up asking for help. Um, I'm not here to help you. I'm here to support you as a peer in recovery. Um, and, you know, I will be here to help support you find your way through, rec through recovery. Um, so if you're interested in that, um, I'll put a link in the description and in the pinned comment to where you could reach out to me if you're interested in um becoming uh, coaching um, or getting some coaching but uh, today's video is actually about um, you know I want to talk about AA I want to talk about treatment and I want to talk about uh, I want to talk about uh, you know people that I found online um, such as this naked mind um, or and people such of those, there's a bunch of like entrepreneurs out there promoting their own brand of recovery. Um, and I just wanted to talk about that because I saw a post today on Instagram by one of the influencers and I just wanted to open up about that. Um, I wanted to say that through my time of working on my sobriety, I used Annie Grace's book, This Is Make Naked Mind. I used Craig Beck's book. And those books are very informative. They taught me a lot of different things about the science of alcohol and, and, and the chemicals it does. And if you listen to it and you don't have a lot of heavy childhood trauma or co-occurring disorders, um, it can really help you. Like if you're generally a pretty mentally stable person and you've just started drinking or using other drugs recreationally and it's became addictive because drugs are addictive and they make you addicted. Um, uh, not everyone it ruin, doesn't ruin everyone's life, but you can still have a bad habit. And, um, you know, a lot of those books will help you. And, um, I mean, those books combined help me get many brief periods of sobriety. And so I'm not knocking those books. I think those books are great and that the people like Craig Beck and Annie Grace are really good people. Um, and it worked for them. Um, but these people are, are also, um, you know, that really talk about, disclose, you know, their past and things of that nature. So, um, you know, you have a lot of people who are highly traumatized to use, who drink. And really, it's only 10% of the population that are the type of people I'm talking about. 90% of the other people who who drink and stuff probably can get sober just by working with, you know, people like Annie Grace and Craig Beck and those types of philosophies. But the 10% of people that struggle with severe childhood trauma, mental health disorders, those people are not going to be, it, those types of teachings are only going to scratch the surface. And I saw one of these people today talk about how you don't need to go to a treatment or you don't need AA and it's just too generalized and I think it's misguiding, um, you know, and I have to say is that I tried those things and I continue to relapse. I've tried both of those programs and I continue to relapse, but their information was definitely helpful. Um, I myself had a lot of childhood trauma. There was a lot of violence. There was an alcoholic father. There was a lot of um, disparities. There was poverty. Um, there was a lot of needs not being met. And I drank because that's the only way I knew to, how to deal with the PTSD from my childhood. Um, what really changed my life is when I actually went to Treehouse Recovery. And some of these teachers are saying, oh, and rehabs, blah, blah, blah. They generalize it. Yes, there is a lot of rehabs that are not great. There is a lot of AA groups that aren't great. But we'll get into that. That's why you got to do your research. And I went to Treehouse Recovery and Treehouse Recovery... It is about healing the body holistically and you know they subscribe to state-of-the-art science you know new teachings new studies like body keeps the score and Gabor Mott's uh, 
curiosity, um, whatever he calls it, but his approach, you know, to healing people. They subscribe to the book Spark and how you can heal your your brain through exercise. Many mental health disorders. Um, and so when I went there, their whole mission was to try to help you get your core essential needs met. So. You know, getting you part of a tribe again, getting you exercising, moving, getting you meditating, getting you to heal the parts of your brain that, that are causing you to want to use. Trails Recovery helped me heal and learn how to heal myself, continue to heal myself once I left, which is the most important reason why I've been able to stay sober and when I are too able to recover, when I am not taking care of my inner child, when I'm not exercising, eating healthy, doing the things to keep myself at homeostasis that I am susceptible to use. Um, and so I believe that there is a, a good percentage of people that have to go through intervention, that have to go through um, treatment, that a good treatment center where they can really heal a lot of those things alien because like Gabor Ma says, he says, don't ask why we drink or why we use drugs, but what are we getting from it? Um, and if you can't figure out how to get those things naturally, you're in trouble. And I know a lot of addicts that, um, you know, the pleasure they get from their drug, there's, they say that there's nothing nothing like it and that's particularly when people get into opiate use but alcoholism is i mean alcohol it it releases opioids it releases oxytocin so for me alcohol was the opiate of the masses and that's why a lot of people can't let it go because there's a lot of traumatized people out there um and until we're able to work on those deficiencies inside of us um, and it's, in, you know, and Andy Grace made a post today talking about like moral failures and this and that. I I understand where she's coming from. There's a lot of times when I went into AA and, you know, I don't like certain things. You know, it's kind of like certain things in the Old Testaments in the Bible and, and things that have led me away from going to church is that I don't believe in shame. You know, and that's where I agree with Andy. I don't agree, agree in shame based. I don't agree in guilt pe guilting people and I don't believe in labeling people um, I do believe is when you do work through your trauma you heal your trauma when you have compassion for yourself when you take care of yourself your inner child when you you know hit these different pillars on the hierarchy and needs and make sure your needs are being met that you can stay sober and you don't have to be an alcoholic you do not have a disease the disease, whatever they want to call it, really is the trauma. It is the dysfunction, and we have to learn how to integrate and make our, make ourselves functional. And that's what I did when I went to Treehouse, and then I went to another program that I learned more more skills. So I was lucky enough to go to some really good programs, and that's why I made this channel because not everyone will have the ha have the opportunity to do something like that. And so I felt obligated to share my experiences and what's worked for me. Um, and it's not perfect, you know. You know, sometimes there's, you know, there's relapses in my in my recovery. Um, but every time I've ever relapsed, it was because I stopped doing the things that put me at homeostasis, making sure that my brain chemicals are getting enough serotonin and dopamine through exercise and meditation, and it recovery takes effort it takes resiliency you have to work for it you know you're not going to just read some book and be cured you have to do all these different integrative medicines and techniques to to keep yourself sober i've met many people where aa changed their life you know and um i'm not against church i'm not against aa there's things i don't like about certain things but overall going to aa the social part, just being around other people, getting out and being around people who are trying to, to not use a drug that will destroy them um, is positive. Being able to share your story is positive. Um, the things I don't like about AA is, you know, everyone's just like, oh, how much time you got? How much time you got? And it's almost like if you tell people you relapse, it's like, oh, oh, you know what I mean? Um, you know, people won't say that. They'll be like, oh, you're welcome. But like, you know, deep down, people will feel you know, there's hierarchies, and that's just human nature. Um, but also with AA too, you know, sometimes you have really positive meetings, 
people are sharing all these great things, but then you have meetings where people are oversharing and they're 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 almost over they're oversharing. They're telling too much, and it, and it's just not the right place to share. And I experienced that recently, and it was just a really really weird feeling because um, it's like that these people needed other help. Like the AA isn't there's nothing they could do. They needed other resources. Um, you know. I personally do believe in if you can get a good trauma therapist that can change your life, you know, but, um, you know, every, for every person it's different, but, uh, you know, those are kind of my thoughts on AA as well as the entrepreneurial new sobriety things that you see on, you know, you know, you have a, a bunch of entrepreneurs out there now, um, creating their own programs. And um, I'm not saying these are bad. A lot of these people are really trying to help people. Um, but I just wish they were a little less, you know, anti this, anti that. It's just it's just feeding more into that. And um, I think there's good things. You, for me, honestly, I took things out of all of these things. I've taken things from Annie Grace and Greg Breck that have helped me tremendously. I've taken things from AA that has helped me. I took things from my time in rehab that, has, that have helped me. Um, it's it's life is not one dimensional where there's you know so many different colors so many different words so many different things um it's never going to just be one thing and so i don't want people to have black and white thinking and thinking that aa is all good or all bad or this dick and mind's all good or all bad or going to treatments all good or all bad there is there is pros and cons of everything and you know just like what bruce lee say he's like accept what is useful and reject what is useless so I feel like every single one of those programs have had things that I rejected that I knew was useless, and there's things in there that really do help. Um, so I just wanted to make this video to just kind of, you know, be informative about the reality and, and you know, um, definitely do your research and everyone's journey is different. I'm just sharing what's worked for me, and I've got something from all of those things that I told you about. So. There's no one just thing, you know, if you go work on Annie Grace's program or just AA or just treatment. For some people, yes, they can get sober off just, they can get recover off certain things. But for some of us, it takes a lot of different things to, to, to stay afloat. And for me, it took a lot of different things to stay afloat. Um, and I enjoy going to AA meetings because I enjoy connecting with people. Friday and Saturday nights were the nights I would use. So I go there and I get a social connection. Um, I may, you know, I may not like certain things about it, but overall it's, it's a positive experience. I don't buy into any of the shame or guilt or I just try to take the positive from it. And yeah, and then that's kind of where I'm at with it. Um, but yeah, f for those of you guys who are interested in um, receiving some coaching um, from me, like I said, I'm a person in early recovery. I'm a certified uh, recovery counselor now. Um, I graduated two different treatment centers um, over the last 15 months, and I did a total of 11 months in sober living. You know, I've probably been over to a couple hundred A meetings. I did a lot of therapy sessions. I did a lot of my own research, and um, I'm just here to share what I've learned to help someone else who needs help and offer affordable, um, you know, coaching, you know, I'm not a therapist. I'm not a clinician. I am a peer recovery uh, certified, you know, um, counselor. And I can talk to you about my experiences and, and help, help guide you on your own journey. Um, and I'm really looking forward to working with some of you guys one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and I'm going to share everything that I've learned and this page is about uh, just finding community and all of us struggling in addiction um, that a lot of us have been counted out a lot of us have been treated like underdogs and and I just want to be a beacon of hope and bring other people that have had success stories and wherever you're at in your journey um, that you can win this and, and we can win this thing so thank you guys for watching uh, please subscribe and uh, just leave a comment on your thoughts about AA, treatment, and things of that nature.